How to train with intensity while you're sick. What's up, Internet? Jason English with Big J's Extreme Fitness. Today is the 14th of May, 2013. And this is a very touchy and sensitive subject. I know there's a lot of videos out there and I haven't even watched them, but I want to put my two cents in because, yep, you're truly a sick. I've been sick as a dog for the last four days. I'm actually running 102 fever, uh, very achy, a lot of lung congestion, nose running, head hurts, just, uh, just don't have any motivation at all to even lift a cup of coffee. So here is what you guys need to think about before you say, man, I'm going to just dig deep and I'm going to go get a training session. And first and foremost, are you really sick? If you have a fever, you're contagious. If you're contagious, you're putting yourself and others at risk of catching what you have and making yourself worse. So do yourself a favor. Do everybody else a favor. Stay home. Get better. Drink plenty of fluids. Take medicines if you're supposed to take medicines. Eat properly. Eat the nutrition that you're supposed to be eating for that day if you're not using any calories. Keep your calories low. But again, do not go to the gym if you're actually sick. Now, running a fever means that you got something wrong. Your body's trying to get rid of it. So again, allow it to do so. The body is an amazing thing. It will actually repair itself if you take care of it. Going out to the gym and deadlifting 600 pounds is not taking care of your body while you're sick. Now, if you're not sick, pay attention. If you're not sick, get off your rear end and go to the gym because... You may just be tired, you may just be uh, unmotivated, you may have had a bad day, you may have had a fight with your boyfriend or girlfriend, uh, just so many things and so many variables that can make you feel kind of glum. Well, once you get to the gym, get your central nervous system active, get some blood flow into the muscles on the joints, tendons, and your heart pumping, you'd be surprised that you feel even better after your workout if you're not sick, okay? So make sure you understand the difference from running a fever and being sick and just not feeling that good to get to the gym. Now, I have not felt good probably 50% of the last 20 years that I've worked out, or 30 years, but 90% of that time, I get off a rear and got to the gym, hence what I've done for the last 30 years. But right now, again, I'm sick. I'm actually contemplating going to the doctor if I don't feel better tomorrow, but because of my travels and whatnot, it's just continuing to run me down. I'm going to rest more today, get more fluids in my system, eat good food, and see what happens tomorrow. Again, bottom line, guys. Training with intensity while you're sick, I do not recommend. Training with intensity, getting off your rear end when you're really not sick, I do recommend. I hope this video was informational. Stay tuned for tons of shout outs for all the t-shirts and supplements and shaker bottles and everything uh, that I uh, was involved with in the last video with Mark Lobliner and Chris Jones and Van Braun and everybody else that was out there. Phenomenal get together. And really stay tuned. I've got an incredible road trip lined up. I've got several collabs lined up for the future and it's going to be intense remember guys intensity rules train hardcore and we'll see you next video oh man it's a lot of weight it makes it look easy five plates come on looks like two plates sometimes i like to block <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs>